So in this video, I'm going to be finding the equation of a normal. It's really simple to. It's really similar to finding the equation of a tangent. Uh, you just need to know the difference between a tangent and normal. Uh, so this, let's say this is my equation. A tangent is a line that just touches it. You already know that. So if there's a tangent at this point here, I draw a straight line that just touches my. Um, equation, it shares the gradient at that point with the curve itself. So whatever the, if you were on a roller coaster, whatever the curve of the roller coaster, whatever the gradient of the roller coaster is at that point, the gradient of the straight line is the same. That is called a tangent. The normal is a line drawn from that point straight, not straight up, but at a 90 degree angle to the tangent. That's called the normal. So if you were riding on your roller coaster and you were to put your hand straight up in the air and fire like a flare gun up into the sky, you'd be firing at a normal, as long as you were sort of firing it that way. All right, so 90 degree angle, that's what a normal is. Now, you should remember from back in the day that if you want to find a perpendicular line, so if, um, let's say y equals mx plus c, if you want to find a line that's perpendicular to that, you use something called the negative reciprocal reciprocal. So to find the normal gradient, use the negative reciprocal. So if the gradient of this line is uh, say m equals negative one third. The gradient of the normal, sorry, it can't be negative because it's going uphill. If the gradient is equal to positive one third, then the normal gradient is going to be that gradient flipped upside down. That's what reciprocal means, but negative. So the normal is going to be uh, negative three over one or just negative three. All right, so the negative reciprocal will tell you the normal and the tangent. You can move back and forth by flipping the fraction upside down and moving from positive to negative. Okay, that's what we needed to know um, about normals and tangents. Now I can just jump into this question here. So you won't necessarily know it when you start out, but this says find the equation of the normal to f of x equals 1 on x squared. That's what 1 on x squared looks like. Just You won't know that, but it's just useful while I'm making this video to tell you that. Um, when x equals 3. So what's it going to look like? Well, it's going to look something like this. x equals 3 is happening at about, I don't know, there, something. The tangent would look like this. And the normal would obviously be off into space this way somewhere. 90 degree angle there. So we're trying to find the equation of the normal. It's a straight line going this direction. So it's the same steps for finding the tangent. We just need to use that negative reciprocal. Thing. So um, it would be useful to know the coordinates of this point, and it would be useful to know the uh, gradient of the normal. So uh, when x equals 3, so I know this, I don't know that, and I also don't know the gradient of the normal, so I need to find both of those things. Uh, I'm going to do this in a different order to how I did the last one. I'm going to find that y point first. So I'm going to use the initial function to do that. So when x is equal to 3, uh, 1 on 3 squared will be 1 on 9. So the y coordinate is going to be 1 9th. 1 on 9. All right, so it's 3, 1 9th. It must be much further down there. Okay, now that I've got that, I just need to find the gradient of my normal. I need to find the gradient of my equation first, of my, sorry, my curve at that point. So, f dash x is going to be equal to, uh, now, I'm going to do this all in my head. If I move that to the bottom, it's going to be x to the negative 2, negative 2, x to the negative 3. All right, so negative 2, x to the negative 3, um, which is the same as negative 2 on x to the 3. 
Now that I've got my derivative function, I can find out what my derivative is at x equals 3. Uh, I've got some room there. Sub x equals 3 into f dash x. So f dash 3 equals negative 2 times 3 to the negative 3 is a number. It's going to be uh, negative 2 on 27. Could have done that in my head. Okay, um, so now what do I know? I know that this line, or oh, this green line here, has a gradient of... Uh, uh, oops, I'm going off this, this page here m equals uh, negative 2 on 27. That's for the equation of the tangent, but I need the equation of the normal. So, uh, therefore, if m1 equals negative 2 on 27, where m1 is this gradient here, then m2 will be equal to the negative reciprocal of that, which would be uh, positive 27 on 2. So now I know that the, the gradient of my normal is 27 on 2. So now I have y equals mx plus c, where this equation is the equation of my normal. I know that y equals 27 on 2x plus c. And I also have a point that I can sub into that equation. Um, 1 ninth. 27 on 2 times 3 plus c. And then if I solve that, uh, I'm going to have the equation of my normal, solve for c. I'm getting an answer of negative uh, 727 on 18. So that's my c value. So finally, the equation of this line can't Sorry, the equation of my normal can be that. So my final answer is y equals uh, 27 on 2 x um, minus 727 on 18. All right, that's the equation of a normal.